Right, with us we have John T. Rhodes, South Africa's uh, former great world fielder. John T., you're now a coach, you're traveling the world recently. We were with the Mumbai Indians as well. But you're here now in Namibia, helping the Namibian team prepare for the T20 World Cup qualifiers. Just tell us, how did your visit come about? Well, I've been approached by Doug Watson, who's the head coach here in Namibia. He's been in Namibia for the last two years. I think worked with under 19 team originally. And, and Doug and I go back a long way. We grew up in the same town. I think my father gave him a lot of hidings as a headmaster at the school that we were both at and uh, obviously played a lot of cricket with the Natal Dolphins with Doug. So he, you know, I, I have been traveling the world doing a bit of coaching around the place and he just said if I ever have a gap, he'd love to have me for a weekend or a couple of days and, and spend some time, I suppose, kind of passing on the expertise that I've gathered from the last 15 or 20 years I've been a player and now a coach. Great. And uh, tell us a bit about your interaction with the Namibian team here. How's it gone? Well, so far I've been pretty busy. You know, I've I had a, arrived on Saturday afternoon and, and Sunday morning we had three hours with, with under-19 team. It was only going to be an hour and a half because, you know, from a fielding point of view, if you keep a high intensity for more than an hour and a half, usually the guys are pretty tired. But it was quite nice. I had a, a lot of interaction with with the players and broke down the fielding, the catching, uh, the throwing-wise. So I spent a lot of time not just hitting balls at them, but also talking to them, giving them some good, hopefully some good advice. And it was a, it was a very solid. I kept a very solid session, kept apologizing to their parents waiting in the car park saying one more drill, one more drill and we'll be done. And then yesterday we had a, a very good fielding session and then a net session too with, with the with the Namibian national side. So, so far really good. It's been great to see the intensity of the players and also the enjoyment. I mean, I know they're not all full-time professionals. A couple of them are also got jobs they've got to hold down to. And I suppose that the way that they can counter that is by, by really loving what they're doing and when they are here, putting in 100%. Right, uh, John, tell us how do you think this team is quite fit and how do you think they'll do at the qualifiers? Well, I suppose, I mean, we way back in, in 1992 when South Africa came back onto the scene, we had no international experience after 27 years of, of sporting isolation. And Kepler Vessels, who had played for Australia and had come back and now was captain in South Africa, he just said there's two areas we can be the best in the world. We can be the fittest team and we can be the best fielding side. So it wasn't just about having one or two good individual fielders, but the whole team was contributing. And I think the same too with the, Namib the Namibian team. I mean, they they don't play a lot of international cricket. At uh, you know, whether it be the associate member sides or, or even international teams, they don't get enough experience. I, th I don't think so. The two areas where they can have a have an advantage is in the fitness and the fielding. And what I saw yesterday, and also with the under-19 teams, that the fielding is certainly pretty sharp. And I've worked with the Kenyan guys in the build-up to the 2011 World Cup, and I've. When I was working with the Kenyans, we spent time with the Canadians and the Dutch team, I saw the Afghanistan team, and by far, this is certainly, the, I'm not too sure about the fitness levels, I'll, I'll tell you later, but from a fielding perspective, really top, top fielders that the Namibian side have got.